Before you press play on your next Instagram reel or your next TikTok video or your next YouTube short, wait, there's a lot that goes into making a video like that. Today I'm going to show you the specific scripting techniques that I use for myself and for my clients on how to shoot videos and how to make the video process way easier and also get more views with less amount of work. We're going to look at the different ways of scripting, what not to do, and also if you should use tools like ChatGPT to write your scripts. Because apparently you use ChatGPT for doing everything, right? <laughs> and if you stay until the end of this video, I'm going to give you a resource that I give my clients on how to actually make the best scripts available in the least amount of time. So what are the different ways of actually writing a video script? Well, in my opinion, there are two ways to script a video. One is word for word script, which you would use with a teleprompter or something like that. And the second one is using bullet points. Me personally, I use bullet points or bullet scripts, but I do think there's also a place where people should actually script word for word. So let's look at word for word scripting first. When should you use word for word scripting? So the person that's gonna use word for word scripting is probably someone who doesn't have so much experience talking on camera, who's very unsure about themselves, who don't know what to say and how to say it. So for those, it's actually a very nice way of actually being able to deliver a good video. Also, if you have a teleprompter, by the way, I'm not using a teleprompter, but if you have a teleprompter, you can actually read your word for word script and nobody will notice and maybe that makes you even better on camera. The downside is that it will make you probably sound more robotic if you don't use the right techniques to script your video. We're writing differently than we actually speak. So I always see people you know, writing perfect scripts for a written version, but that's not how we actually speak. So you know, that's gonna sound like someone reading from a book or from a novel or something like that. Boring. And the second problem with word for word scripting is that it's gonna use a boatload of time, right? You're gonna spend a lot of time writing the script, rewriting it, changing every little mistake, being like, ah, this is not grammatically correct. And this is gonna take you a lot, a lot of time and effort. So a great way to script faster and better is actually to use Google voice type. Whether you're scripting word for word or bullet points, it doesn't matter. The cool thing about using the Google voice type feature is that you actually script the way you talk. And that's super important because you're not gonna use these, however, in the furthermore in the distance of that, you know, these fancy words, you're gonna just use your natural speech patterns. As a matter of fact, I bullet point scripted this video using Google voice type. And it took me no longer than 20 minutes to write that script and that's for a long form YouTube video. So now let's talk about bullet point scripting. Bullet point scripting is either just writing down a couple, you know, keywords or something like that, or just having a loose structure where you just have some sentences and then you improvise off of these sentences. With bullet point scripting, sometimes you want to script a little bit more of the sentence and sometimes you actually don't need to script that much. So just so you can see, this is the script of the video that I'm using right now. Sometimes I really go word for word what I've written down because I do think it's a good sentence. And sometimes I just improvise off of that. And you can also see that a lot of sentences that I actually speak here are not in the script. This is because I like to flow very naturally in the conversation. And remember, this is all tied with the Google Docs voice function. So don't forget that. The really cool thing about bullet point scripting is that it takes very little time, right? You don't have to be perfect. You just need to find a lot of information. You can even copy paste some stuff from ChatGPT or something, just so you have the information, the hard facts if you want, and then just improvise from there. And the second cool thing is that it makes you flow very natural. You can focus on your intonations. You can focus on really saying it from your heart and saying it in your speech pattern instead of just focusing on the lines on the screen. You're good at that. Make it look so easy. <laughs> but whether you bullet point or you script word for word, in my opinion, it's always good to script a couple hooks word for word. Because just to reiterate how important that is, the hook is what's stopping the scroll. It's what builds intrigue and it's what makes people want to watch the whole video that you present. Basically, you have two seconds to tell them what they're gonna learn and why they should watch this video. So what I always do is script out two to 10 hooks per video and I almost always script them out word for word or like 90% word for word. The same goes for a CTA. If you have a call to action in your video, you probably want to script that as good as you can so that you actually say the right words and that you actually really have a nice flow to your CTA because that's very important for a video that people actually do what you want them to do. A quick tip for the CTA, make it very specific to the situation. Don't make it like, hey, if you want to know more about short form video content, click on this link. Make it more like, if you want my best 100 video hooks, then send me an email with the title hooks and you'll get my 100 best video hooks so that you get more views 
and more clients through short form video. And as an actual CTA, if you want more video hooks, send me an email with the title hooks. Now the last question, should you use ChatGPT to write your script? And the answer to that question is, I would never use ChatGPT to write a word for word script because it just writes like a five-year-old and it writes super over-the-top marketing. Hey, if you want the best video available, here is how you should do that. This is so awesome, this is so amazing. But I do think it's a very good tool to actually put in some hard facts, to actually get a lot of content what you wanna say and then bullet point script it basically and say the information in your own words. So you could ask ChatGPT, hey, what are different ways of actually scripting a video? Then you'll have a bit of block of text and then you can pick and choose what kind of information you wanna give into this video and it gives you more ideas of content that you could actually make. And where ChatGPT is also very useful is to actually write video hooks. If you tell ChatGPT, hey, you're an expert marketer and copywriter, write me 10 vivid, emotionally appealing video hooks for a video with the topic of topic, they get you pretty decent hooks. I wouldn't use all 10, but you can probably use two or three of them. They're pretty good sometimes. So if you're stuck until this point in this video, I'm gonna give you a very cool free resource. I recently shot a video where I walked through step-by-step step of how I actually break down scripting a video. This is just me, you know, with a Loom session, it's much less entertaining than this video but it's very technical and it's very detail oriented. This training is normally just available for my clients, but I'm gonna give it to you for free. All you have to do is just send me an email with the title free scripting training or contact me in my free Facebook group and ask for the free scripting training. So now you know how to script a good short form video, but that won't actually help you if you don't know what the right video structure is for short form. To learn the right video structure for short form content, check out this video.